Now, as a follow-up to that report, South Korea's top office has harshly criticised opposition party lawmakers for boycotting the vote on that constitutional revision bill. Here's what the spokesperson for Chongwa Day had to say. By not taking part in a vote on constitutional revision, a constitutional process, the opposition parties failed to perform their duties. They did not even discuss the National Referendum Act, which in its current state is unconstitutional. We cannot but call this a dereliction of duty. Kim expressed deep regret over losing what he called a golden opportunity to pass the president's constitutional amendment proposal. Chong Wade apologized for being unable to keep a promise made to the people, but vowed to do its best to ensure the objectives of the proposed changes are reflected in state affairs through laws and the budgeting system.